This video will cover some of the basics of your new chainsaw. Refer to the owner's manual for the entire list of proper safety guidelines and operating procedures. Before you ever start your chainsaw, you must put on the proper safety equipment. Leg protection in the form of chainsaw chaps. If the chainsaw accidentally comes into contact with the chaps, tiny fibers will clog the chain and bring it to a complete stop. While it's not a 100% guarantee, they may prevent serious injury. Hand protection, like gloves. Eye protection, such as safety glasses. Head protection, or a safety helmet. Ear protection. Face protection, such as a visor. And safety boots. Never use a chainsaw without this safety gear. We've put most of these items into an affordable package for your convenience. Take home a safety bundle today. Make sure to use the bar and chain oil recommended by the manufacturer in the correct two cycle lubricant at the correct mix ratio in your fuel. If you're purchasing a steel chainsaw, you can double your chainsaw warranty by using one of these three steel products. Now let's go over safe starting and basic operation of your chainsaw. The first thing you're going to want to do is engage your chain brake. The chain brake must be engaged when starting the saw in order to reduce the risk of injury from reactive forces. You won't want to release it until the engine starts. If your chainsaw has a purge pump feature, pump the ball a minimum of five times. The correct starting position is to have the chainsaw on the ground in a clear, flat area, making sure all debris is out of the way. Next, place your right toe into the opening of the handle. For cold starts, grip the rear handle with your right hand. Depress the throttle trigger interlock and squeeze the trigger. This allows you to move the choke to the cold start position. If the saw was recently on, you may want to put the choke into the warm start position. Still holding the saw firmly on the ground, grasp the starter handle and pull until you feel a slight resistance. At this point, give the rope a sharp brisk pull, then guide the rope slowly back into the starter housing. Repeat the process of pulling the starter rope until you hear the saw burp. If you have the choke in the cold start position, move it to the warm start position now. Don't pull the rope again until you do this, or you may flood the engine. Now, with the warm start position engaged, you can start the saw. Pulling the starter rope again, probably only a few times will be needed in order to start the engine. Do not accelerate the chainsaw with the chain brake engaged. Release the chain brake and accelerate the chainsaw a few times to warm up the engine. Engage the chain brake and move into your current position. Now you're ready to go to work there are a few things you never want to do. Drop start or throw start the chainsaw as shown here. Don't ever wrap the rope around your hand for starting. Read your owner's manual for proper maintenance and adjustments. Well, we hope this video has provided you with some helpful info and insightful tips regarding your new chainsaw. Thanks again for choosing Caldwell.